Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so smart.
What's up, man? My dog. What up, baby? What's, what's good? Keep back, keep back. Yo, you, you see you see my new setup though? Just bench off the ground. Yeah, right. Sebastian, right? Yep. What's good, man? I don't know. What you eating? Protein. How much uh how much meat you been eating? Mm. Before I got him, yeah. I was eating way less than I'm so happy. But I took my dog. Like a two months of like bum break. Just like fun. Yo, so Sebastian, have you thought about uh I responded, bro? Oh you responded? Oh my bad. Oh, I checked I entered my phone. Wait, tell tell me the flesh. I like I like the flesh. What? Tell tell me in the flesh. So Dude, it's what I told you about, like It's like mastering those seven pillars and from there, bro. Which is uh which is the most important pillar for you? I think it's kind of like a waterfall. Waterfall? Yeah. What's I think all mean? pillars, like I think all pillars have to do with each other, and I think like some like influence the other. It sounds like some Bruce Lee shit, man. Dude, like, dude, but for example, yeah, you can't. For example, one of them is like like the mental one, right? That carries on to everything else. Right? Yo, you want you want to hear my thoughts, Sebastian? Yeah. The body's more important than the mind. Dude, that's fucking insane, bro. That's so crazy. Dude, you think you got handstand push-ups? I, I I think I could. I just uh. I think I'm kind of scared. From what I'm from what I, from what I've heard, that's. The logical first step before it's just, I mean, I can do it against Wall Street. Nah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just more scary than anything. You yo, so? you, you know, do you know what's actually the best one though? This is the so, one where, yo, check this out. This is this is actually what I'm proud of. Yeah, I can do those. And then, you know, we should get back into b-boying though. What? what, are you, what are you, you ever break dance? No. No. Dude, break dancing was it was Chill, ill, dude. I, I tried it like for 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 like a month and I was like, oh, fucking shit. No, cause I mean I think like uh. Dude, like, all those dudes are fucking ripped. Well, oh, do you know what's funny though? With the Kyle Sanks dudes, tiny legs. I know, I know. Yo, so okay, some other things that I've been yeah, doing. I did, a, I did a body weight workout yesterday. Yeah. Uh, all legs. Yeah. I literally can't feel. Yo, why don't you just do it? Upper body every day. All, every day, every day, all full body. Full body, yeah, perfect. What, what is your take on that? Yo, so this is my thought. Every day I go ham like a motherfucker, full body every day, seven days a week for the rest of my life. And actually as a consequence, because I don't read stupid stuff on the internet, right? I'm getting, getting way more gains. And you know, like I told you, right? I broke my fast last night at 9 p.m. I ain't not at the whole day. And I broke my fast at night, in my fucking, my 4.5 pounds of steak. And yeah, like already now I feel how strong. Grams, how many grams of protein is that? I don't even know. I just I just count pounds. Dude, I, I don't I don't count no the stupid. I think I think all the macro dude, shit is. Uh, I think it's all pseudoscience. There's, there's been research that red meat in excess is causes cancer. I mean they say that though, but yo, this is my thought. I think there's actually this low key vegan conspiracy. Not not like I know I can I can not not like conspiracy. Okay. Uh, Sorry. listen, remember I, that what I told you? Uh, impact theory. Yeah, impact theory. Yeah. You? Look up, there's this dude, Dr. Joe Dispenza. He talks about Joe that Dispenza? How do you spell Dispenza? D-I-S-P-E-N-C-A. Like, disposer? Like, dispense? Yeah. Joe Dispenza? Well, so what he said? So what he said? Dude, he talks about all this shit. Well, okay, think about this way, yo. Have you realized nowadays, this is more of a sociologist meme, dog sorry, rights, sorry. animal rights, are equivalent sorry. to human rights. Would you agree? Yeah. Right? So honestly, uh, society is hijacked by all these fucking nerds who have dogs and shit. And then the whole, it's not even a conspiracy, this is just a societal trend, is that you're not allowed to eat meat no more, right? And so oh, even, God, so, bro. you know, yo, so now, Science, I'm like, dude, dude fucking, fucking dude. And then, you know, people are so into dogs, right? Like, I'm like, yeah, you have a dog, that's cute. Yeah, Motherfucker, it, 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 it eats its poop, man. Come on, no, yeah, for, for to say, okay, I, I, I think, you know, dogs are good, right? But humans are apex predator. 
So when people are like, oh, you shouldn't eat meat bad for the planet, I'm like, dog, if you have a fucking Amazon Prime account, you don't give a shit about the planet. You own a car, you don't give a shit about the planet. It's just, are you familiar with this notion of like virtue signaling? So do you know, do you know what virtue is? So essentially, everyone's trying to puff up their, their so everyone's just trying to puff up their, their chest and be like, I'm so virtuous, I'm so woke, and you're an asshole. And I'm just like, why do you care? So like, my thought of that, yeah, you do your work, man, just, I'm just talking shit and nonsense, is that everyone is like, yo, like, you gotta be kind to animals. And I'm like, why are you say like, I'm like, humans, we're not designed to eat nothing, but no one accepts the fact that humans are the apex predator. What's up? Nah, it's, it's someone left to hear, but I'm like, it's funny because I was about to jack it, but I'm like, yo, you don't want to catch COVID from a fucking nobody's random eye watch, you know? Yeah. So then, um, so my thought on this, Sebastian, was that like, everyone wants to think that meat is bad for you because people love animals so much. I think, I think like, if you think about it evolutionary, like we, have grown yeah. up as a species, eating meat, I, yeah. there's no way that it's bad, yeah. bad for you. Well, the thing too is, right, like you read the Iliad, you read the Odyssey, right? What do they eat? They eat nothing but fucking like oxen, beef, steak, yeah. that's all they eat. And you know, actually back then, chicken and uh, fish is not considered meat. I did etymology on this. Yeah. So the reason I don't take creatine or none of that fortune part shit, creatine, the word cre uh, is, um, is um, it's like, Creo, the, the Proto-Indo-European ancient Greek, essentially means flesh, and more specifically, it means blood. So if something has a lot of blood and meaty, and it's kind of good for you, and so even if you read the Odyssey, they they all eat the oxen, and they only resort to eating fish when they start starving. <laughs> so they're so desperate, they gotta eat yeah, fish. Because yeah. like, in the yeah, past, you know, everyone's eating da 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 and it's not like, you know, because back then, like, I mean, this is why I'm like such a big fan of like ancient Greek culture, is that these guys actually have fucking balls, right? Yeah. And then now, like, can you imagine a fucking like, you know? Yeah, I feel like our society is so soft. Right yeah, so soft. Like, I'm actually writing an essay right now called Hard Society, and I'm actually trying to think. I'm like, why is society so soft? There's a bunch. There's a bunch of people who argue that, like, the people now that are going to be the best off in like ten, twenty years are those that are going to be. Like really susceptible to like tough situations. To to what? To like really tough situations, right? Oh. That like those who are like weak-minded and grown up in this like really soft society, right? They're gonna get, get hit with some real shit. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm kind of curious. Why do you think society is becoming so soft now? I don't know. That's a really good question. Like, what, what's your take? I think it's like the shift in like, I think you know why, and it, it's a design, I think it's a design problem too. Okay, like a societal design problem you mean, or what yeah. is design? Like a design of everything kind of problem where right. everything's become, like for example, you'd be surprised yeah. how much money is made in design, not by like creating products that return just value, but like return Convenience, right? Uber. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's purely convenience. Yeah, yep, yep. Right? And that goes across the board on yeah. absolutely everything. Everything's about convenience. Right? Everything is like optimized for easier. Everything is. Yeah, you, like, don't, you don't have to cook, you just order the grub right? Exactly. Everything so cheap. everything becomes so complacent yeah. to having way less. Imagine, all right, for example, I'll give you an example. I think the, the fridge or the freezer. Was invent, it was definitely invented less than 100 years ago. It was invented like, say, 50 years ago. Yeah. Right? Imagine living a life where the food that you have, right, you have to make a point every single day to go out and get. To, and to hunt the, to, the like, food. Right, no, no, not as you hunt. Or to, go to the store food, to get food. Yeah. To go to the store and buy the meat yeah. every single day and come home and cook it, right? Yeah. And right? that's a really good example. Like, that was just a situation. That's right? just how it was. It yeah. fucking sucked. Right? People have to do with it. But you know, still had to go walk, chat with the grocery man, right? and kind of look at right? the thing. Yeah. So like now it's everything's become like so convenient. Convenient and like kind of like lazy. It's like yeah, it it, it encourages laziness. Exactly, it encourages laziness and it encourages like people to not deal with challenges that it gives people the option not to deal with challenges that they would have had to deal with like in the past. In the past. Out of necessity. Yeah. Right? So when you become 
like that in every area of your life, right? Obviously, when something little that is either challenging or offending or whatever, or yeah. like whatever, you're not as like adapt. Oh, that's so, like, interesting. Well, so I, I kind of like your idea because, yeah, it might be a, so I say sociology, right? Yep. It might be like a societal design problem. It is. It is. It is. Um, but also like... It's, it's also brought a lot of really good things. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, like my thought is, um, oh, so this is, this is actually my theory, uh, Sebastian. It actually has to deal with Christian morality. I think it actually has to deal with Christianity and uh, Christian morality. Because, you know, if you read the Bible and hear Jesus, blah, blah, thou shalt be meek, thou shalt be humble, and thou shalt not be strong. Essentially, it encourages softness and meekness. Because you think about it, right? Like, yo, this is the worst advice, right? Yeah. Jesus like, if someone spits on you, just turn the other cheek. If someone hits you, turn the other cheek. I'm like, that is the worst advice I've ever... Because, like, yo, can you imagine if you're on the street, right? Motherfucker punches you in the face. He's like, yo, hit him out of the cheek. I'm like, I kind of get the sentiment, but Jesus was too much of a pacifist. You know, like, and I think a lot of the morality and ethics of Jesus is good. A lot of it is just kind of like, like, essentially imagine a man, yo, you, he's pretty good with the, the jump rope, man. But can you imagine, like, whatchamacallit, like, if you're in a war, right? Let, let's say you're, like, in the Odyssey. Let's say you're Achilles, you're in the, the Iliad, right? He's fighting against the Trojans. And you don't have a fucking shield? I'm like, dude, come on. And then also, um, the philosophical idea. Yeah. Modern society, we're allowed to defend. But I did that, so I put my laptop before. Yeah. Right? What is it usually for? You jump up. You jump, yeah, just jump up. Jump before? Or, I mean, like, or you, can, you can do some real creative shit. Yeah, you can do some fun shit. Oh! Yo, you're so smart! Oh, dude! Yeah, you can just do a punch there. Wait, so, so, yeah, no, I, I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. Alright, so let me show you, let me, let me show you my warm-up. So I do the dive bombers, and the funny thing is, all my reps, I don't do more than two or three. So I do this, and then, you know, I'll just kind of do a push-up. This, this is the big thing. This has fixed all my problems. Have you seen the pigeon pose? No, I not This thing, I, I actually learned this from my, my wife doing yoga. And then essentially, I grab my back leg and I do this. Now hold that for a second. Stretch this way. I'll, it's like fraying your thing. Yeah, yeah. It's called pigeon in uh, yoga. And then do that. I do that for a second. Do that. And then, you know, the traditional like kind of martial arts. Yep. The hip openers. Yep. I'll do that. I'll yeah, do that. I can tell that you've done this. Yeah, so I do this fun. every, I do so this, I do this every single day for the last two years. And when I, when I started, Inflexible as fuck, but then this is my new this is my new hot take. When people talk about flexibility, I don't actually think it's flexibility. It's more of a it's a different form of strength. Yeah, because you know, like okay, Dude, truth I, be told, it's like yo, you gotta be flexible, and I'm like that sounds so like you know feminine, right? Because you know, like girls like to do that. But like you think about all the martial artists, right? And I, I was telling you the story, right? The first reason I really started doing it, there's a guy at the gym. Is repping 500 pound deadlifts like for reps, like super easy, right? And then before he did it, I saw him do that. I'm like, yo, if he does it, I should do it too. So that I started doing that, and that as a consequence, because like you know, most guys can't even do this and stuff like that. Dude, all my lifts have gone I up. Used to, I used to squat with this dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, dude, like, like you can actually just like sit can you, like can you this do and bottom. Oh yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Bottom out, and he's like, I'm like. Yeah, dude. I suggest, dude. I'm like, I'm like, yes, bro. Like, I suggest, dude. You can. And he's like, dude, no one can. And I'm like, the fuck, like, oh, no yeah. way, bro. Yo, let me, let me, let me show you another thing. Dude, according to my physical therapist as well, yeah, I have some natural mobility that is really rare for. Well, like, like what? Like, for example, I did this test. One of the tests that she did was like, it's this test that like, you they put like a. A meter stick here. Oh, you gotta squat down. And you have to move the like it has like a little like rail. You have to yeah. move the thing uh -huh. as far as far as possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Without lifting off your foot. Oh, that's interesting. But you can you can you can. Pivot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And it's a really good show. It's a really good show of like a. Like balance, yeah, like yeah, you're talking about yeah, it. It's yeah. kind of like just like little muscle strength, yeah, yeah, yeah. mobility. 
And I did something that apparently she'd never seen before, which was like, I did something that was kind of like a, like a, like this. Like this? Oh, I like moved it. Oh, wow. And then, and you go back up and she's like, dude, what the fuck? Well, have you ever tried working at this in your socks? No, no. Take off your shoes real quick, I'll see you do that again. I don't believe in shoes anymore. Oh, that one, that one, you have to do that. The funny thing is, it's nice and grippy. Let me see you do that again real quick. Dude, I'm really sore right now. No, you're doing good. Yeah, I can tell you're really strong. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude, you made that look easy. That, that's, that's super, that's super ill. I don't, I don't believe in shoes no more. What? What is that? Well, let, let, let's think about this evolutionary speaking, right? Yeah. Basically, let's say you're deadlifting, right? Yeah. I mean, I do deadlift without, and I deadlift and squat without shoes. Okay. But, I mean, just think about just everything else. Yeah. The human foot is evolved for like how many quadrillion years? Exactly. And actually, you know, you catch me taking off my dude, fucking shoes. Did I show you this? Nah, I'm gonna do So check this out. These yeah. are my shoes. Yeah. And then when I just wear it, I walk these in public everywhere. And then like I run in these, I jog in these, I do whatever. I used to have plantar fasciitis, pain here. Yeah. After doing this, all my pain gone away. Yeah. No pain. And then then I'm starting to think is like, oh, why do you get all the shoes of the foam? My thought is, once again, like, it's more of a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like a capitalist consumerist thing, because like, I was about to say, about yo, to say we're it. talking about soft, right? Yo, even our shoes are soft, right? Ain't nobody have no heart. Then you actually think about ancient Athenians. You know they fought in wars with just sandals that they clasped on? It's probably like, it looked like that, except it just had a back strap. So I'm just thinking, yo, that, that thing you did that was pretty dope, though. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing.